watching the episode 22 recap of Big Brother Canada Season 2. Sabrina and Rochelle are pissed at Adele for what he said about them at the nomination ceremony. Rochelle decided to approach Adele and ask him why he said that stuff. She asks him if it was for good TV, and he goes with it. She's still not happy about it. Adele says it's his strategy so that after he pisses off all the jury members, the remaining house guest will take him to the final two, thinking the jury hates him and that gives him the opportunity to explain his strategy. Well, it's too bad Adele won't get the opportunity to see final two. Holy shit. Sabs is going bananas after Rochelle told her that Adele did it for good TV. Sabs was yelling, you want good TV? You want to see good TV? Well, she continues to be pissed and I was expecting her to go absolutely batshit crazy, but she didn't even do anything. Lame sauce. Alright, now that we got all crazy shit out of the way, the house guests see 20 million on the TVs and the sirens go off. Most of them don't care anymore, but Adele loves it because he thinks that's 20 million votes and John is like... Uh, no way. That's half of Canada's population. Hey Adele, I think you need to wake up, not Canada. There's a quick segment on how close John and Netta are, and no one really cares about them tickling each other or farting. The one thing that was important was when Netta said she's worried about going to the final two with John because everyone likes him. Well, no shit. It's not just that though. John has actually won competitions. Yeah, so has Netta, but it's not like he's a floater. Netta needs to put her feelings aside for John and has to figure out soon when to take him out. The POV competition is called Stampy. Everyone is dressed up as cowboys and the girls have quite the skimpy costume, but I'm not complaining. Since there are only six house guests remaining, they are all playing for the veto. When the house guests get outside, they find out that 1. The competition has nothing to do with Cowboys or the Stampede, and 2. There's no host. Well, for 1, it's just a bunch of letters broken up into puzzle pieces. Get it? Stampede? And 2. Well, the host was Peter Brown from Season 1. I love that guy. The object of the competition is to match up the puzzle pieces. The last person to complete the puzzle will be eliminated. John was the first one eliminated, Adele decided to throw the comp, so he was the second one out. Rochelle is next, and it's down to Heather, Netta, and Sabs. Heather destroyed this competition, getting first three out of the five rounds, but she decides to throw it, and Netta has won the POV. Netta gets called into the diary room, and she sees an envelope. The envelope says she has won a secret strategy session in the war room. When she enters the war room, she sees Jillian and Emmett from season one, and she goes bonkers. Hey Netta, I thought you were over these twists. Anyway, Jillian and Emmett just run through Netta's gameplay, and the only thing that stood out was Netta saying she would take Heather to the final two, which makes a lot of sense. We now see someone in a bunny costume dropping chocolate eggs all over the house. I was totally expecting the person to take off the head in the diary room and I thought it would be a season one house guest since we've already seen three in this episode, but we didn't get to see who it was. When the house guests woke up, they were given a task to collect as many eggs as they can. The person that collects the most would get a reward and the person that collected the least would get a punishment. John won and Netta lost. John got to pick five consumable items from the outside world, and from what I remember, whiskey, beer, and fast food burger meals were on the list. I missed the other two. As for Netta, she is on a diet of slop and chocolate eggs until the eviction. Womp, womp, womp. The veto ceremony goes down, and Netta keeps the nominations the same, which comes as no surprise. That's your episode 22 recap of Big Brother Canada Season 2. If you liked my recap, Click the thumbs up below if you have something to say, let me know. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe.